when the beat was born. DJ Cool Herc and the creation of hip hop by Laban Karakil, illustrated by Theodore Taylor III, and read by Mr. Alicea. Clive loved music. It didn't matter what kind, whether it was a wah wah scat of a jiving trumpet, a sorrowful twang of sad voice, or the belting boom of a gospel singer. Little Clive loved the way sound dumped and bumped all the way down in his stomach. He loved the way the music made his feet go hip hip hop, hippity hop. Little Clive lived in Kingston, Jamaica. His hero was a DJ named King George, who threw the biggest and baddest house parties in the neighborhood of Somerset Lane. On Saturday nights, everybody who was anybody made their way to Somerset Lane for King George's hot dance parties. Little Clive was too young to go to the parties, so he went to the house when King George and his friends were setting up during the day. They'd arrive pushing a big old handcart stacked with crates of records. Clive had never seen so many records. He imagined himself as a DJ, surrounded by all those records, choosing just the right song to get the party jam. He saw himself toasting like a DJ talking and singing over the instrumental B-sides of records. Clive dreamed of everyone's feet going hip hip hop, hippity hop. Little Clive really wanted to be a DJ. When Little Clive was 13, he joined his mama in New York City. Clive wasn't sure he'd like his new neighborhood in the Bronx. It was cold. He had to wear a silly winter hat with ear flaps and everybody made fun of him. But Clive did find one thing besides music that made him feel like he belonged, sports. He ran track and lifted weights. He played basketball at the neighborhood playground. Soon little Clive was no longer little. He had grown to six foot five inches tall. He called himself cool as Clyde after his favorite basketball player, Walt Clyde Frazier. But the kids on the basketball court took one look at his size and called him Hercules. Clive cut the name short to Herc and then added cool to make it just right. Cool Herc. The best part of being big was that he could go with his mama to neighborhood house parties where he listened to the hottest tunes and danced like crazy. Clive loved these parties. They were just like the ones he stood outside of in Somerset Lane. One day, Cool Herc's father bought a monster sound system with giant six foot speakers. But when he hooked up the system, instead of a really big sound coming from the speakers, a little mumbling sound trickled out. Cool Herc spent days switching wires and plugging things into other things until one day the sound was big. Not just big like Cool Herc, but big like an entire block in the Bronx. Cool Herc and his little sister Cindy rented the rec room in their housing project on Cedric Avenue. They hand wrote invitations telling everybody when and where to get their groove on. They posted cards around the neighborhood. They set up their father's sound system. On the night of the party, everybody who was anybody made their way to Cedric Avenue for Cool Herc's hot dance party. That's when Cool Herc became DJ Cool Herc. DJ Cool Herc noticed that dancers danced crazy hard during the breaks in the song when the lyrics ended and the music bumped and thumped. Herc knew that's what dancers wanted, so he plugged in two turntables instead of one. He put the same record on both turntables. He set it up so that when one record ended its break, he could flip over to the other turntable and play it again. Doing this over and over, he made a 10 second break last for 10, 15, even 20 minutes or more. Herc remembered the way DJs in Jamaica would chant and toast over the music. He started calling out the names of his friends during the breaks. There goes my mellow Coca Rock in the house. There goes my mellow Clark Kent in the house. There goes my mellow Timmy Tim in the house. There goes my mellow Bambata. Everybody loved hearing his or her name called out over the music. He'd compliment people over their dance moves. He'd talk about the music and send shout outs. He'd made up little raps like the jump rope rhymes he'd heard on the playground. Or he would call, hey Mike on the lights, make it like a strobe. And Mike would flip the switch on and off. Over the next year, Herc took his parties to the streets and parks of the Bronx. 
he plugged his sound system into the lamppost. They pulled so much power that the street lights dimmed, the perfect lighting for a street party. Cool Herc's music made everybody happy. Even street gangs wanted to dance, not fight. Gangs like the Savage Skulls, the Glory Stompers, the Blue Diamonds, the Black Cats, and the Black Spades turned into breakdancing crews who performed some of the slickest moves. Herc called the coolest dancers breakdancers, or b-boys, because they loved to dance the breaks. When Herc would find a really good break, he'd shout, b-boys go down. Then the break dancers would cut and jump their gymnastics. Herc gathered a crew of friends to rap behind the DJ. He invited Coco Rock, a Jamaican friend, to rap. He called him his master of ceremonies, or MC. Coke knew all about toasting like Jamaican DJs. He was the first of Herc's crew of MCs called the Herculoids. Herc would introduce them with a rap. You rock, rock, rock and, and you don't, don't stop. stop. And, and this, this is, is the, the sounds sound of DJ Cool Herc, Herc. And, and the sound system sound you're listening to is what we call the Herculoids. Soon kids from all over New York City came to see DJ Cool Herc who threw the biggest and baddest parties on Cedric Avenue. Africa Bambata, Grandmaster Flash, Jazzy Jeff, and dozens of others all wanted to be DJs just like Cool Herc. There's, There's no, no story, story can't, can't be told. Be told. There's, There's no, no horse, horse that, that can't be rolled. A no bowl can't, can't be stopped. stopped. And ain't, ain't a, a disco, disco we can't rock. rock. Herc, Herc, who's, who's the man with the master man, plan from the, the land, land of grace and grace? Herc, Herc, Herc. Herc didn't just rock the block. He put the hip, hip hop, hippity hop into the world's heartbeat.